confess, you know. But Scott, don't try and sell them what they won't believe. Scott, I read a piece that you just wrote, uh, essentially saying this is Joe Biden doing what Joe Biden does. Yeah, well, he, he I, I never imagined how quickly this would all unfold. The person they sold on the campaign, the nice old, you know, moderate grandpa who just wanted to help everybody get along and compromise is not what we got over the last year. He has no mandate really to do much of anything. It's amazing that he got a couple of things done when the mandate was really uh, pretty clear. 50-50 Senate, a near 50-50 House, and a pretty close presidential election. The mandate was simply replace Donald Trump and don't do anything drastic or stupid. And everything about this agenda is extremely drastic. And he's been angrier than I think people expected. He's been more divisive. He's been more partisan. You look at the issues. We built five years of coverage on Trump out of Russia, COVID, and democracy. The president at his press conference invites Russia to invade the Ukraine. We got more deaths under Biden than Trump. And now we have the president and vice president and leading Democrats question the legitimacy of the 2022 election. Are we any better off on these three issues that we crucified Trump over? I think he has a lot of political problems. And an AP poll came out this morning. Only 28 percent of Americans want the sitting president to run for re-election and fewer than half of Democrats. This is a disaster. Are they able to do, I mean, people talk about a reset. Uh, Brett Stevens wrote a piece. We're going to talk to him later about, you know, just Bill Clinton was able to kind of yeah. tack after a loss. Yeah. Listen, I think uh, they, they, do have to, they do have to make some changes, and they, they need to acknowledge uh, where they are. I, I, you know, Scott, he gave you a pretty good summation of what the Republican argument is going to be in November, and he's good at that. Uh, but the reality is,